What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Map Tips and Tricks. It has been a long time since we did the last episode of this series, but we have got four new maps in the game and that means that there are a ton of new spots and routes you can use to get a leg up over your enemy. The first map we're going to be looking at today is Koth Sui Jin, where you can use this cool little route to jump out of spawn onto the boxes, up into the tree, and then get onto this roof to get a pretty awesome vantage point over your enemies. Being able to get yourself up to the second levels on this map is really important, especially if you can get there quickly. And this route lets you take that last spot even further by jumping out onto this beam of wood, over into the tree, and then across onto the middle point where you can sneak up on your enemies, take over the top of the midpoint, and hopefully win your team the round. People often don't suspect you to come out of nowhere from that direction, so it's often a way to get some pretty easy kills. These are just a couple more spots you can use to get onto the roof of the big building in Soijin, and knowing these is crucial. Having control of the roof is really important on this map, and the middle point is extremely hard to capture when there's an enemy up on the second level. There's a fast way to reach the roof from almost every point on the map. Some are just less obvious than others, and knowing them is going to give you a real leg up over the other team. A lot of the time, snipers on Soijin really like to camp out on that big roof over there, but if you come over outside the right side of spawn, you can take him out with an easy headshot where he probably won't see you. It works from both red and blue sides. You can also come up onto the roof yourself and actually get this pretty incredible angle into the enemy spawn, shooting any AFK people when the door opens or just the enemy snipers as they're trying to kill people who are crossing the bridge. One last interesting thing I thought I'd show you on this map is that the waterfall is actually a one-way screen. People can see out of it, but you can't see into it, which means you can hide in here as a sniper, look through the waterfall, and shoot people as they go by without them being able to see you. Moving on to CP Snowplow, on the first point you can actually use the train to get back up onto the second level when you're stuck on the ground. On the second point, you can't normally get up onto this box here, it's just a couple of pixels too high, but if you can manage to track down a friendly engineer on your team, he can put down a teleport exit or entrance there, you can then jump off that onto the box and then all the way up onto the roof. And having a heavy up here is a formidable thing to behold. You can absolutely mow down the other team as they come running in, and it makes the second point extremely hard to cap. CP Snowplow actually has a ton of really great ambush spots. This one's on stage two, and you can get up here as any class, including heavy, and once they've capped the first point and they're trying to get through onto the second one, they will just come flooding out this door where you can surprise them like crazy and mow them down as they walk outside. It's a great way to just get the jump on the enemy and normally get a couple of pretty easy kills. On the last point here, that balcony that you'd normally have to rocket jump up to or walk all the way around, you can actually jump off the side of this wall here where there's that little bit of wood coming through and just walk all the way up. Then if you want to come further through this building as a soldier or a demo man, you can get up to this top little attic area and absolutely destroy people as they walk through. CP Snowplow has a ton of spots like this, and I probably missed a few, so when you're walking around the map, always make sure you're looking up, look for little bits of wood sticking out of the wall, things in the rafters, and you might just be able to find a couple more things like this, where you can really get the jump on the enemy. Also, as much as this spot is a joke, it's kind of not, and I've done this so many times where it's just really confused the enemy team for so long, and although they'll probably figure it out eventually, a lot of the time it delays them long enough for your team to come in, reinforce the point, and save the day. Seriously though, it's probably not a good idea. This is another great spot above the last point on Powerhouse. It just lets you spam down and basically kill everyone beneath you while they very rarely see you up there. But I'm going to try and make another episode focusing on both that map and Borneo in a little while because I actually found it extremely hard to find spots on these maps. So I want to take a bit more time to explore them so I can put together something really good. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you legends in the next one. Bye bye.